What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna fix the search user error for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna fix the search user error from our last video. But before we get started, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we had this little error that I sort of took out towards the end of the video, but I put it back in for this video because I want to fix it in this video. And basically, when we come to our search user page, it says that user does not exist. Now, what we want this to do is have nothing there. And if we search for somebody that doesn't exist, then we get this error and, and only then. So then we go back there, we get this again. So what's going on here? So this is a very easy fix. I should have just done it in the last video, but I want to show you how to fix things that go wrong. And that's sort of a broader theme that you need to understand. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's look and see what we have here. Let's just try and work this through and figure it out. If we go to our search user page, we start out, we have this if searched. So if they typed in something and it gets returned as this searched variable, if that exists, that means there's a user. If it doesn't exist, that means there's not a user. So if it does exist, we want to you know, put all that stuff on the screen. Else, we want it to say that user does not exist. Well, the problem is when we go to the page the first time, there isn't anything being returned. So, you know, it's putting up this else statement. So let's just come up here to the top and then let's just type in, I don't know, some stuff here. And let's just put that searched. Right. And let's just see what gets returned, if anything, when we come to this page. So let's head back over here, hit reload. So if we just come to the page, nothing is getting returned or in Python speak, that would be none, right? None is getting returned. Now let's search for something randomly. Well, then the query set gets returned. So we can do an if statement saying, hey, basically, is something getting returned? A query set of some sort, even if it doesn't have a, a user, or is none getting returned? So what I'm gonna do is head back over here and let's get rid of this here. And then down here, so in our else statement, let's do another if statement inside of here. So let's go if searched equals none. And then as always, we wanna end our if, right? So if it equals none, then we want nothing here. All right, so let's get rid of that. And then else, let's do this, All right? So let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, see if that works. Let's hit reload. Well, let's just first go away from here and then come back and then boom, nothing is here. Now let's just search for nonsense. That user does not exist, please try again. Let's search for admin and right, we get admin. Let's search for Bob. We get a Bob and a Bobby. Again, if we search for just nonsense, that user does not exist, please try again. So fairly simple workaround to fix that little problem. Again, you know, very easy thing to fix, but really what I wanna show you is sort of how to kind of diagnose these things yourself by just putting up on the screen what is getting returned so you can sort of figure out, well, this is what's getting returned under different circumstances. We can write some logic to deal with those different cir circumstances. And in this case, it was just, you know, checking to see if it equals none. If it equals none, then here, don't do anything. So nothing, right? Else, if it's not none, that means something got returned, right? And it might not be a user, but something is getting returned. And when that happens, if it's not a user, we say, hey, that user doesn't exist. Otherwise, just put up the user stuff on the screen. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you could use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.